Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So the video that I told you in my last video that I didn't want to publish, I decided to actually publish it because I didn't think at that point in time that I could just do a voiceover and I wouldn't sound so loaded with the cold. So what I've done is just threw this video together, edited it, and I'm just basically going to talk you through what I've done in this video to create this house. This house is probably the best house that I've ever created for any of my pets. Over time with making stuff with lollipop sticks and stuff, I have really got good at what I can do with them. The only thing I haven't got good at is burning myself with hot glue. Seriously, that stuff stings. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm creating um, sides for the house. So all I'm doing is lining 10 lollipop sticks up and then sticking two lollipop sticks to the back of it to keep the full set together. This is actually a lot harder than it looks. It took me a few times. Parts that I cut out of the actual video itself. But to get them straight, it does take a bit of time and put it in and find out what way is best to go about it. So yeah, I'm just sticking the lollipop sticks on the back to create that strand. It's basically like building a fence. So now I'm using this circular plant pot to create a circle beveled edge and I'm just going to draw around about that with a pen and then after that I'm going to then start to cut it out. So between cutting I used my Stanley knife and I used a pair of scissors. I used the Stanley knife to score through the lollipop sticks first because it was a lot easier to cut through them then with the scissors because it was thinner. So now I'm just taking the hot glue and I'm figuring out what way is best to go about sticking this together. What I did was took one of my side parts and stuck it to the front parts first to create an L shape and that way that the house would actually stand up for me to be able to connect the rest of it to it. And what you can't see on the screen here is um, me actually just cutting out the door. I forgot to cut out a door so I just did it at this part while I was um, sticking it together. Some of it did fall apart but it's not too bad because you can just stick it all back on with more hot glue. So this part it took a bit longer than I thought it did to fix the door. Obviously I had to restick loads of little cut up lollipop sticks so yeah it did take a lot longer than I thought it was gonna but anyway so now I've got the chance to actually stick that side part on <laughs> try and make sure these are as straight as possible if you do make this because if you don't it will make your roof not sit straight if that makes sense and it will start to run off when you get round a certain when you get round so far it will start to make your roof run off that's me stuck the front part of it on then I'm sure I just left it to dry for about 10 minutes just so that it was definitely solid part of which I cut out the video <laughs> So 
So after it dried, I just started to take individual lollipop stacks and stacking them on either end of the house to create that circular rooftop that you've seen in the picture. You'll see what I'm talking about at the end of the video anyway. I think this house kind of looks like a barn and it, to be honest, Smokey has this house and he loves it. The only problem that I've got with that is the fact that he's decided to eat it. So, yeah, it's got big chew marks on it now, so it'll probably need to go in the bin by the time he's finished with it, but that's what it's for. So I think for this full project, doing this part was actually the worst part, because you were trying to make sure every single lollipop stayed straight, while trying to make it look professional as well. So this last one I had to cut just very slightly, but after I done all of that I got some green food colouring and some orange food colouring. I tried to make the best brown colour I could but it turned out more orange than anything. I still like the colour though and I watered that down with some water and then I just painted it on and stained the wood so that it didn't look like a lollipop stick house. I did one coat on uh, the front door and the back of the house and I did a second coat on the roof of the house to make it slightly darker than the rest of it to give it a two-tone effect. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It took me about half an hour to make this and a hundred, well, we'll say 89 lollipop six later. And yeah, I, I've absolutely love it. I think it looks amazing. I think if I make another one, what I will do is I will paint one side one colour and the roof black to give it that more abstract feel and effect. But the next one I make will not be giving I won't be giving it to Smokey because he just loves to chew through it. So yeah. I think Mercury would deserve a wee house like this. He loves these lollipop stick houses. He actually prefers them to houses that I have bought for him. So yeah. He deserves them because he looks after them. <laughs> yeah guys, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that thumbs up button down below. And if you get any questions, hit me up with a comment and I will reply to you as fast as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.